Yo, what is up everybody? Hope you guys are having a great day and welcome to How to Guide YouTube channel where we post tutorial videos to help you solve your problem. And in today's tutorial video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can save your Facebook Messenger's message as a PDF. And it's pretty simple to save your Facebook Messenger's message in PDF form. So follow the steps which I'm going to be showing you. But before that, I want you guys to hit that like and subscribe to our channel with notification on. And let's jump right into the video, shall we? So the first thing is you want to open your Facebook on your Chrome browser. And after opening it, you want to log in into your account. After logging into your account, you can click on this line over here and you want to click on where it says setting and privacy. Click on it and on setting and privacy, you want to click on settings and on settings, you want to click on your Facebook information over here on this side. Click on it and after clicking on it, you want to click on where it says download your information because we want to download our messenger's information, you know. So you want to click on view over here. And after you click on view, what you want to do is you want to deselect all because the only thing we want to download right now is our messages. So you want to deselect all these things which you do not want to download and you want to select messages from over here. You want to tick mark messages. After you tick mark messages, you want to select the date from which message you want to download. So let's say I just want to download my messages from 2020 up to 2021. All right. And I want it to be downloaded in high quality and an HTML format. After, you know, making this selection, I want to click on create a file and after clicking on create a file, it's going to take some time for, you know, Facebook to collect your information so you can download it. So you want to wait for some time. After waiting for some time, it's going to provide you information just like this saying your Facebook information file is ready to be downloaded. If you see this notification, you can click on it and it's going to take you to the page where you guys can download it. And as you guys can see over here, I can download my file. Now I can click on download over here. I need to enter my Facebook password to continue. So I'm going to do that after entering my Facebook password and it is correct. Then it's going to start to download just like this over here. Now wait for some time until it downloads. All right. Now, after it downloads, what you want to do is you want to open this folder. So let me go to my downloads folder over here to open that up. So this is it. This is what I downloaded. So I'm going to open this up. As you guys can see, this is my messages over here. So I'm going to click on it. Once I click on it, it's going to open. Wait for some time. Now, once it opens in your browser, so it opened on my browser over here. So these are all the, you know, messages which I've done. So I can click on the person and view the messages as well. So these are all the messages I've done with him. So let's say I want to, you know, convert it into a PDF. What I want to do is I can click on this tree dot and my browser at the top. Once I click on this, I want to go to print. All right. Now we want to go and print. Now you guys might get confused, like how you guys can go to print on your, you know, Chrome browser. It's pretty simple. Like you can click on this tree dot and you can click on this print. And once you're over here, you can select in which format you want to do it. So you want to click on save as PDF and you can download it over here by clicking on save. All right. But right now I don't want to download this. I want to download messages. So let me go back over here and I can click on this tree dot and I can go on where it says print over here. So I'm already in print and I'm going to, you know, save it as PDF over here. Microsoft print to PDF ready after it's ready. You know, I can click on print over here. Now it's asking me where I want to save the folder. Let's say I want to go to desktop. And I want to name this PDF a demo and I'm going to click on save. Wait for some time. It's going to be saved. And as you guys can see, it has been saved over here as a PDF. So yeah, that's basically how you guys can do it. So if you guys found our video helpful, then be sure to hit the like and subscribe to our channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. And I'm signing out. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.